one of the biggest lies ever told outside of the God so loved the whole world lie is that you're supposed to love your enemies. I'm here to prove to you today that you are not supposed to love them. So the question is, should you love your enemies? Now, a simple short answer would be, hell no. Capital H, capital E, capital double L, N to the motherfucking O. And let me tell you why. That lie came from the pits of hell. That lie came from the New Testament. That lie came from this white idol that y'all call Jesus, who you think is the Messiah. In the book of Matthew, when he told you to love your enemies, he told you to bless them. He even told you to pray for them. He told you that those who hate you, people who use you, abuse you, and persecute you. He said to love them. Huh? I know. I thought the same thing, right? Now, the more you become like the Most High, the more you begin to grow in His image, meaning to walk in His ways and understand the love of the Most High, the more you will naturally begin to hate hypocrites, godlessness, and also the evil of the world. Now, that Matthew verse about loving your enemies is a slave mentality that your oppressors want you to have. They want you to be weak. They want you to be docile. They want you to be submissive. Because your idol, Jesus, told you, he said to love your enemies, right? He said that when they beat your ass... And go upside your head. He said, no, 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 don't fight back. He said, you turn the other cheek. And let them go upside your head on the other side. Now, do that sound like some shit the most high would say? No. Now, let's see what the most high, the father, the God of Israel said. To your enemies. Or about our enemies. Now I have been studying. So I'm not going to do all of the work for you. You have to go study on your own. And show yourself approved. But what I have highlighted here. Is some of the main. Scriptures that I'm going to kind of. Go over. You feel me. Just to prove to you guys. How the father. The most high. The God of Israel. Did not, did not, Israel, lost sheep, I'm talking to you, the remit, his anointed, his chosen children. He did not tell us to love our enemies, nor our oppressors. Now, in the book of Psalms, right, I pulled up, um, well, I highlighted this verse from the book of Psalms, and it's in 139, 21, and 22. And this is King David praying to the Most High. This is not no Jesus Christ, none of that, none of those lies, none of that, that brainwashed slave mentality, New Testament shit. This is King David praying to the Most High. And he said, Do I not hate those who hate you, O Most High? Do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with complete, perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Hmm? See, now a lot of y'all that still, you feel me, not there yet, you don't understand that. It is a such thing. Because, see, when you brought up in this world, what the heathen do, what your enemies do, right, is they lie to you. Like I said, they try to weaken your mind. They have to target your mind and your feelings and your heartstrings, right? So they'll hit you with some shit like, 
Oh, you not supposed to hate nobody. You, you, you hate somebody. Oh, you a bad person. Oh, you this, you that. But see, if you don't know no better, you will let this shit get to you. Hatred is a feeling that can be both godly and sinful, depending on what it is causing us to hate. It's a such thing as righteous hatred, just like it's a such thing as righteous anger. Let me give you an example. If you walk in and a motherfucker molesting your child or molesting a baby, right? Are you going to love that motherfucker or are you going to hate them? You're going to get upset naturally. Righteous anger is what you're going to have because they are doing something bad and corrupt to a child. And I'm just using it as an example. That will be an example of righteous hatred or righteous anger, right? Now, something, an example of something that will not be righteous hatred will be, oh, you know, you jealous because this female looks better than you or this man over here looks better than you. You know, that the reason behind you hating that person, right, is not a godly or righteous reason you see what i'm saying you see the difference you see how they have mind fucked you it is a such thing as righteous murdering as well right right let me give you another example a motherfucker coming up in your house in the middle of the night trying to break in your house first thing you gonna do you gonna grab a gun if you got one it's instinct that's off the top and what you going to do, you going to shoot first and you going to ask questions later. And if that motherfucker happened to die, then that's just how the cookie crumbles. Because they had no business trying to break in your house, coming on your property. Now, that's something you would call righteous murder, murdering. Because you were trying to protect your family, your children, right? Yourself. You don't know what this motherfucker coming up in your house to do. You don't know if they trying to come in there and kill you. Right. But obviously, you know, they up to no good because they breaking in your shit. That would be an example of righteous murdering. Now, if you just grab a gun and you, you know, you feeling all trigger happy and you want to be a big gangster, you just go and like, oh, I'm going to kill me a motherfucker today. See, that's not righteous murdering. That, then you will be considered a murderer. You get what I'm saying? That's why you have to study. It's important to study and show yourself to prove so that you can understand how the most high moves, how he speaks, how he works. Right. Right. So you will not be deceived. Now, moving right along, King David said, I hate them with complete hatred, with perfect hatred. He count them our enemies. But what did Jesus tell you? That idol, right? That y'all love to worship. That's keeping you in bondage. He told you to love your enemies. Right? Right. Moving right along. What did the Most High say right here in the book of Psalms? He said, ye that love the Most High hate evil. Ye that loves the Most High hates evil. That's Psalms 97 and 10. Moving right along. The Most High told you right here. Another one, the most high tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hates. His soul hates. But yet they tell you, you're not supposed to hate your enemies. Well, the most high, the father of Israel said that the fear of the most high is hatred of evil. Right here. You see, the fear of the most high is to hate evil. Right? Right. The most high also told you in the book of Psalms 5 and 5. Look it up. 
The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. You hate all evil doers. The most high hates all evil doers. He hates evil, period. Period. He even told you in the book of Proverbs 13 and 5, the righteous hates falsehood. So to sum it up, I'm not going to tarry too long. But I had to go ahead and nip this lie in the bud because I, I, I hate when people spread their lie around, you know, telling people, oh, love them, love your enemies, love them. They persecute you. That shit is a lie. That is a lie. That's like why some that's like saying why somebody standing up there beating your ass. You screaming out, I love you. You know, or you don't fight back. You just stand up there and turn the other cheek and let somebody beat your ass. That's crazy. I don't know what God or entity y'all are serving, but that's not how my father rose. The most I told you, he's mighty. He's a terrible God. He comes for war. He's a father of war. David told you he trains his hands for war. The most high told you he goes out like a mighty man. He stares up his zeal. He cries out. He shouts. He shouts out loud. He shows himself mighty against his foes, his enemies. So you see the difference between the true and living God, the, the most high, the father of Israel and this fake ass um, idol, this Jesus idol that they want y'all to worship. They want you to be submissive. They want you to be a good little slave, y'all. It is a such thing as righteous hatred, and it is a such thing as righteous anger. I told y'all, it's all depending on what it is that is causing you to hate. I don't know about y'all. But I can't stand these motherfuckers. I hate these motherfuckers. My enemies, my oppressors, these motherfucking persecutors, these motherfucking reptiles, these motherfucking NPCs, soulless beings, whatever the fuck you want to call them, these demons. I hate these motherfuckers. I can't stand looking at them, at these beasts of the field. I despise these wicked bitches. And you should too. The more you grow in his image and walk in his ways, you will begin to understand and naturally feel that way about godlessness, hypocrisy, people being hypocrites, and just people being evil in general. You would just hate the evil of this world. The most high hate this world. He don't love this shit. That's why he said he's coming back to destroy you. He told you I come back not to bring peace, but destruction to make Babylon desolate. To destroy Babylon and all of his enemies, this whole fucking world, y'all, these people hate the most high. They don't love God. So why would you love them? That's just like saying you love Satan. Come on now, use your common sense. Think about it. Think about it. And I'm coming telling y'all this from experience. This, the most high put this message on me in my heart to let you guys know. And I'm talking to Israel. I'm talking to his children, to the elect, to his remit that is left here. To the real people. Because that lie is getting a lot of people at her fucked up. And that lie had me fucked up for a long ass time. I used to feel bad, you know, or feel guilty when I had to get on the motherfucker ass. You feel me? Or when I'm protecting myself. You know, from these evil motherfuckers. No, that's how they want you to feel. That's that slave mentality shit. But as you begin to study, y'all, the word of the father... You will hear his voice. You you just will just know naturally what is from him and what the fuck is not from him. You will know how he moves. You will know how the most high speak. The most high is not weak. He don't play. 
He will never tell you to just lay down and take that shit and let somebody be beating your ass and treating you any kind of way and oppress them. Yes, I'm excuse me, and oppress you. Yes, vengeance is his. I didn't say go seeking revenge, you know, or nothing like that. Keep your hands clean. Keep that blood off your hands. But it's okay if you naturally feel hatred from for the from these wicked ass people, y'all. For these wicked ass people. And I feel it in my heart. I'm telling you. When they do certain shit or, you know, come around me and I just look at them and I'm just like, ugh, like I just feel fucking disgusted by them. I hate them. I automatically just start to pray most high. Please, Father, I'm not rushing you, but Father, please come and destroy them. I hate them. Y'all, these people are wicked. These are demons. These are demons. And you are supposed to pray for their destruction, for their demise. These motherfuckers seek to destroy us. They oppress us and persecute us every single day for our father's sake. The most high say you hate what he hate. I hate these motherfuckers. The most high hate them. He hate this world. He hate their sin. He hate their wickedness. He hate their ways. They're evil doers. You cannot love evil and love righteousness you will hate one and love the other he told you that what shall i have fellowship with darkness yeah i better come on now this is a word get out of that slave mentality they want you to be a submissive slave so to answer that question no you do not love your enemies no, you are not supposed to love your enemies. And no, the Most High will not condemn you for hating them. He hates them as well. And that's why you will naturally hate them, grow to hate them as you grow in your ways of the Most High. And these are facts.